Hi everyone! In this video I would like to share my process of painting a master study of Thomas Wilmer Ewing's Tonless painting Portrait of a Lady. Tonalism was mainly a movement of landscape painters who emphasized mood and atmosphere. They often used a muted palette with a limited range of colors, which brought harmony and unity to their paintings. These paintings are easily recognized by the misty or foggy atmosphere and a somewhat abstract quality. And the main goal of this study was to replicate and learn from that. Because of the heat wave, I couldn't paint outside, so instead of traditional oil paints, I used water mixable oils. I'm using Cobra, which is very similar in consistency to oils. And let me know in the comments if you would like a separate video on them and how they compare to traditional oil paints. When you're doing a master study, choosing the right surface and materials can be very important, although it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. In the ideal scenario, you want to use the same materials and surface as the master you're copying did, but it's not always possible or necessary. In my case, I didn't want to copy Dewing's technique exactly, but instead I wanted to replicate his compressed values and the overall mysterious atmosphere of the painting. So instead of a linen canvas, I'm working on a slightly smaller uh, 40 by 50 centimeters panel that's been primed by a couple of layers of gesso. I also tinted it with some yellowish acrylic paint mixed in the gesso because that's something I see in Dewing's painting. Your palette is going to determine how well you can achieve the atmosphere inherent to the style you're trying to replicate. So if you're trying to make a tonalist painting, you want to compress the values and desaturate the colors to achieve that wispiness and folginess. That's why I mixed in some raw umber and titanium white into all of my colors. Raw umber will desaturate them and titanium white will compress the value range, making sure that the darks aren't too dark. For this master study, I used the same process that I follow for all of my paintings. First, I define the outlines to establish the big shapes and make sure that my proportions were correct. I also found my main shadows, and even though the shadows are not very prominent in this painting, it's important to not make it look flat. Then I got rid of the white of the canvas. I tried to cover as much of the surface with paint as possible, while trying to stay true to the colors and values of the original painting. And the final step is refining the details. As usual, the step took the longest, even though I didn't have to worry anymore about the shapes and the colors. Overall, it was a very pleasant and intuitive process, and my premixed palette really kept me in line and preserved the compressed values of the painting. Now, while you're watching the study come together, let me tell you a few words about the original painting. As I said, this painting is called Portrait of a Lady and it was painted by Thomas Dewing, a 19th century tonalist painter who, unlike many of the artists of this art movement, focused on portraits instead of landscapes. Dewing is definitely not as well known as Wachtmann or Whistler, who were the leading figures of tonalism, but that doesn't take away from his pieces. The atmosphere in his paintings is magical and wispy, and David Cleveland perhaps put it the best in his uh, absolutely monumental history of American tonalism. 
at his very best, doing toneless landscapes and figurative works of tall, elegant women constitute some of the finest examples of pure painting in the period, an art in which an ostensible object has been transformed into a static artifact, mysterious, haunting, ambiguous, and by virtue of both shedding narrative and inviting it, beguiling the viewer with an abstract beauty that is ultimately unknowable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more art shenanigans. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!